OK, and open. All right, so here's our final implant positions. Really nice, pretty ideal. Where we're going to be demonstrating all of the materials that we have to do our chairside soft liner. Now, ideally, in a world, we could choose the option right now. We have four implants that have torqued in above 30 Newton centimeters. We could do the denture pickup in her mouth. However, with that soft tissue healing the way that it is and looking with the incision line, our decision today is to go ahead and do a soft liner. Like we talked about before, all of our adjusting burrs are here on the top, including our locator recess burr, undercut burr, and vent burr. All of the polishing burrs are down here, down below. In addition, what we have here is we have our chair side soft reline material. We have some blockout material, also available from the Zest chair side product line, and a bite registration material. We're going to be demonstrating these products here for you today. First and foremost, let's get familiar with the chair side soft reliner material. As I open it, I notice that I've got a intraoral lining side and an extraoral lining side. We're going to be finding and following the intraoral method described here in a pictorial demonstration, starting at the upper right, ending here on the bottom left. Inside of our box, we also have some detailed instructions if you'd like to go ahead and follow that. We don't need that for right now. You have mixing tips, and then you have some burrs that you can use to finish the kit. Inside of here is a brush and our chair side soft reline material, including an adhesive. Now, the chair side soft reline material does require an adhesive before it goes into place, so we're just going to get ready for that. Removing my little vial that's here, I'm just going to set it out here in front of you. First and foremost, what we need to do is, is we need to go ahead and mark on the inside part of the denture where the locator abutments are. So I'm going to use my chair side bite registration material. It's a fast acting bite registration material. And I'm going to inject it into the intaglio surface of the complete denture corresponding to my implant positions. And that'll be the first thing that we do here today. I'm going to inject it into the area that corresponds with my locator abutments. Seating it. and bite down. And I just have the patient bite down normally. So step number one, let's go ahead and have her open and this should be completely set. And sometimes it will stick just like that. If it does pop out, no big deal. I pop it back in on the denture and that's the positions that it will be correlated to just like that. Now what I'm going to do is just take my grind burr, activate it on medium speed, and just make a, a mark right inside of there. And that gets you started. Pulling this apart, I now have a couple little dimple holes inside of the denture. Also, at this point, what I'm going to do is take my locator recess burr and just create a hole that's a little bit larger on the inside of those areas where it corresponds to. And you can see the locator recess burr has made short work of the complete denture, providing recess holes that are appropriate. And that's all I'm going to do today, because what it's going to do is, is get us close to what we need for the chair side soft reline. Ideally, I, what I would do next is place my denture caps on top of the implants, but we're not going to do that today since that's a procedure that will be done later on. What I am going to do is go ahead and get ready for my soft reline. Now, following our technique card that I just showed you, our intraoral method is going to go ahead and in an ideal world, this is for a definitive soft reline. I'm not going to do as much of these border adjustments as is indicated on here, but we're going to do some of it just so that way the soft liner holds in place. We need to create some retention holes on the inside of the denture as well as bevel the outside part of the denture. What happens is now, is I will need that, yeah, that'd be great. Just leave it right there, it's fine. Right now, I need to create a bevel and then put my primer and adhesive on 
and then apply my TerraSite soft material. What we're going to do is just take out our grind burr. Our grind burr is going to allow us to create little tiny dimples on the inside of this complete denture so that way our soft liner holds into place. Taking our grind burr away, we can put on our trim burr. Now at this point what we're going to do is just we're going to use our trim burr just to create a little bit of a bevel around the outside part of our denture. Same thing here on the intaglio and the lingual slope. Just so that way it creates a nice finish line for the patient. What we need to do now is go ahead and take some of our primer. The primer is inside of this vial right here. And the primer is going to be used in combination with the entire surface of the denture. So I'm going to take a few drops of primer. And you don't really need a whole ton of it. This is something that you're going to use sparingly. Also included in the Zest kit is a specific brush that works extremely well. What we're going to do is just take out some of that primer and just paint along the borders. And on the intaglio, just kind of roll with it. This does not require a light cure. It's essentially just a varnish that goes in place on top of the denture. No light cure, just air dry it. So I'm going to take my chair side soft material and I'm going to inject it into this area, filling the inside also rolling along my borders and periphery. Depending upon your desire, your clinical technique, some people like to roll along the borders first, but what I like to do here is just go ahead, take that, fill in some of these areas, and I know I don't have a whole lot of soft material that I need in the posterior, but I'm going to fill in a bunch here in the anterior, right around where those holes are rolling along my lingual borders and also right in here and then I'm going to touch it up with a little bit more of the border molding. This way it gets a nice border seal. Mm -hmm. Just to finish it up as we're ready to go, put a little bit around the edges. Okay, And now we're ready for placement in the mouth. As we place in the mouth, we just have our patient open and gently close, my dear. Good. And we just have her gently close. And as we have her gently close, what we're going to do is just do some gentle border motions, getting that to seal in nicely. And left and right. Okay. And go ahead and close. Not open for me. I'm just going to kind of push very gently pulling it straight up. You'll notice that I got a very nice final soft liner appearance. Because I was careful with my abutments and with the, relax your lips please, I did not pull out any sutures or anything of that nature and just rest. Now what I'm going to do is, is we're going to go ahead and trim this up at our bench. And I'm going to use my coarse adjusting burr and my coarse adjusting burr goes onto my handpiece and you'll notice little parts of it will come off perfectly normal. If you beveled everything correctly, you're not going to take away past that bevel. Sometimes you just want to change the angle and direction of your coarse adjusting burr. And after you trim, it just kind of peels away. Same thing here. Just using my burr, nice. Now we're going to change out our coarse adjusting burr, just putting it away for a moment, and putting on our fine polisher. The fine polisher also used in a direction that's going to peel towards the liner, not away. So meaning I don't want to use it like this. 
as the spur spins, it's going to want to peel away from the denture. I always hold the burr this direction, so that way the spinning motion goes into the denture and it makes it much more successful. Just keeping light pressure, I can come along the lengthwise of it, but I don't want to go this direction. So again, coming at the soft liner is going to ensure, or with the soft liner is going to ensure a long-term success of the soft liner. But my preference is to come at it this direction. Our final implant position, I'm going to take my denture, place it in, and have my patient bite down. How's that feel?